So there you go, the first rock and roll song to intentionally feature the F word in the lyrics. The Fugs and CIA Man from 1965. Now here's a question that may have never crossed your mind. There are two ways a song can end as a recording. It can have a definite conclusion, or it can just fade away into the silence. Who came up with that idea? In the early days of recording, everything was done live. All the musicians and singers gathered around whatever device was being used to collect the sounds and played together. No room for mistakes. No edits, no overdubs, no mixing, no mastering. But when magnetic recording tape was introduced in the 1940s, everything began to change. You could edit and splice. Multi-track recording became commonplace, which meant post-production like mixing. And one trick producers and engineers began to employ was the fade-out, the gradual diminishing of the volume over the last bit of the song until it disappeared into the silence. Now, why would they do this? Well, a couple of reasons. First, it saved the band from having to come up with an ending to a song. Best to just jam away at the chorus, imprinting that into the mind of the listener. And possibility number two, some believe that by fading out a song, it conveyed the idea that the song never really ended. It was eternal. It lasted forever. And then it could be that they were just lazy. No one can say for sure which recording was the first to employ the fade out, but it's been used countless times since the late 1940s. It's got in and out of style, but it'll never go away. So just think about that as we get to the end of this song. <laughs> 